Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we made our way back to Parliament Heights in the Dark Place and went through a little bit of uh, Alice's um, memories, I guess. Um, we found out that Barry had been messaging her, keeping track of her uh, while he had moved out to Hollywood and uh, Alice was still working on her... Um, what is it called again? Her artistic presentation, um, her gallery, I guess, or uh, not presentation. I forget what the word is called. So the whole thing that she has got set up anyways. And um, it basically led to us regaining the return manuscript and finding out that Alan had not written it. Scratch had, in fact, written it. And while we were trying to change it, while we were trying to um, change the story, Scratch came in and basically shot Alan in the head, and he just wakes right back up but forgets whatever edit he made. So he has to find another way to basically prevent Scratch from gaining control and like going out into the real world. So we're back in the Ocean View Hotel, meeting up with Thomas Zane to come up with another murder site. Why he would need Thomas Zane is kind of a mystery to me. I don't know why he can't just come up with this stuff all on his own. You found an episode of Night Springs. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, we won't be doing that right now. We'll be doing all that stuff afterwards. So, okay, hang on. Yeah, so this is separate. That's 664. Because earlier when we were looking, while we were trying to solve the murder mystery in this um, in this hotel, 665 was missing. And it's here. Next to 664, like this. So, yeah. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. He definitely does not look happy. Control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. Visionary. I mean, it was art. But then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out. Before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! It's okay, I don't think he's dead. Oh, mercy. 
Yeah. Thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut! Oh. Now that is drama. I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. Zane's film. Uh. I had to find the movie theater Poet's Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Why would he have created the film in tandem? Because that would imply he wouldn't have trusted... Um, he wouldn't have trusted Scratch. But it was apparent that he didn't. What was that? Fuck, what did I miss over there? Ah. So where's the cinema? I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the uh. far side of the plaza. Luckily, all these areas are within spitting distance of each other. Probably need to go this way, actually. I think I've been on this side. Um... Oh, I cut through the darkness. 
I really hope I get some more batteries soon. Yeah, not doing too good on supplies. Where is this? How do I get in there? To remember to come back here afterwards. The theater appeared to be closed. Just gonna run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. The theater appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. Okay, those guys can't get past there. Just fine. Uh, let's see where this led. Speed. Let's go up here.
Yeah, don't really know the point of this. Maybe at some point, later on. misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty dark, man. It's pretty morbid. Ah, uh, okay, I know where I am. Nope, not it. No, no, no comprende. Oh, thank you. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Okay, before we do any of that, I'm gonna use the word of aid. Increases for desired effect by 13%, trauma pads. Um, I think the trauma pads actually do a good job so far. Let's do the painkillers. Because again, we have more of those, so. interact with it like that. Zane's special surprise. $15, eh? Bro, these prices are so cheap. So goddamn cheap. And hell, popcorn here is cheaper than uh, Coffee World. It was what, four bucks? Here, a large is three bucks. And butter's only 50 cents. Granted, I'm, I don't like butter on my popcorn. Wow, this is one of the most ghetto bathrooms I've ever seen. Dude, this is a big-ass storage room. Let's see. Oh. Damn, bro. I will not say no to these items. Gladly taken. Meant for the uh, meant for those guys, no doubt. You know, while I appreciate all the shit you're giving me, it also means I can expect combat, which I do not appreciate.
Why the fuck do you need a dressing room in a movie theater? Looks like a fucking movie theater, like an auditorium after a kid's movie. some point I can't stop there's too much at stake I mean how many times have you gone crazy since you've been here you know what I mean oh I see it it's up there Are there any other movies besides Tom Zane, anything made by Tom Zane, or an Alex Murphy movie? Okay, all right, here, shut up. I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. Worst Casey. Bullets, bodies, and bourbon. Final Casey. There are no happy endings. Missing something. Yeah, I think I've explored all the different areas here. I needed a new draft of the story, one that would get me ahead of scratch. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. So, anticipation before the event transports you to another reality. So, the cult of the word. This was the cult's lair. They didn't bother to hide it. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. Where are you, though? And now we gotta look around and shit again. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. 
Yeah. Trying to see if I can see any kind of movement. No. Same thing, eh? still locked um okay what am i missing an initiation ceremony or so we made our new members believe two of new york's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we had something special waiting for them and something very special for you alex casey well this is ilmo leader alan wake hmm? scratch zane give me a name <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Yeah, so that was uh, Ilmo Koskolov. Let's see what it said for New York's finest. They had gathered behind the doors for the rite of initiation. So even cops, eh? Oh shit. Wait. Oh, I thought it was saying something. Oh, 
This way's open now. God, this just this brings back horrible, horrible thoughts to me right now. Just a messy auditorium. Seriously? He was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema, a rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. You know, the more I'm playing this, the more the story's unraveling. I made a I made a hypothesis a few videos ago that there is no Tom Zane. There's it's just Mr. Scratch as Tom Zane. What if it's the other way around? What if Tom Zane is Scratch? Because if he, because he came before us, he was in the seventies, and he's been lost in the darkness ever since. Uh, ever since he went missing after making Tom the poet, I guess. Um, even though in the first game, he basically, like us, gave up his life to, um, basically save the world from the darkness that had taken on his Barbara Jagger. They're taking on the, the appearance of Barbara Jagger and he basically used the clicker and got rid of her, but also gave himself up to the darkness. I'm wondering just as how we're, we're seeing videos of like, uh, Alan going insane every now and then. I wonder if like that, that's what happened to Tom. Like this whole Alan Wake 1 and 2 is just a whole elaborate thing for him to take over, come back to the real world as an already established writer and 
you know, his property has become movies, and so he's, like, famous, you know what I mean? But he's also evil as fuck. Like, anything he writes comes to life. I, I wonder if that's where they're kind of going with this. Because the biggest, one of the biggest questions right now is why does Thomas Zane, Alan Wake, and Scratch all look alike? Why is there Alex Casey in the real world working with Saga, yet he's also a fi uh, character in the dark place? Just too many fucking questions. All right, let's do New York's Finest first. They'd gathered behind the doors for the right of initial... Oh, no, that's a lobby. Oops. Theater hall. So where we watch it happen, the voyeurs of horror, the world projected. Tempted with false promises, the cops were the ritual sacrifice. I guess that comes second, so we'll do this one first. Uh, cult of the word reverently. The cult prepared for the viewing. Assholes better be real. Oh, it just goes on a loop. Pretending to be a secret society. Maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, let's switch this out. New York's finest. This wasn't open before. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. Wah, wah. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. Off. Come on.
nothing, nothing here. Let's do clip of the last film. The light projected a teaser of dark secrets. Actually, what will this do here? The secret truths awaited in the film, Nightless Night. Changing a plot oh yeah, I have to be out there. there was... Wait. Let, let's do that first. change much out here. A film that was a ritual, literal movie magic, in a theater that hailed from a time when there was still magic in the silver screen. You know, I'm curious to see if that means anything. Hang on a second. So I'm just bringing up Google Lens on my phone. Uh, translate. Okay, so according to Google Translate on Lens, the burn of murder like a crown flames on his forehead. The burn of murder like a crown flames on his forehead. So like a crown of flames on his forehead. Jotuns. Interesting. Yeah, probably not like the best translation or anything, but yeah. I'll just close it off, eh? Did it change anything here? Probably not. Oops. Okay. So let's change this back to New York's finest. And then we'll head back upstairs, away from the shadows. change this to clip of the lost film the light projected a teaser of dark secrets Transfer the light in my lamp to his. Wake. The light Wake. of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Investigate the alley.
Where, where is it? Is it here? Oh, it's right there. Is that a key? Oh no, it starts. Yeah, we haven't saved in a while. Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, yeah. I I don't know where this is leading. Because uh, the murder was supposed to be inside the, the, the cinema. We haven't... Well, I guess we we saw multiple murders. We saw the, or we read, heard at least, of the uh, police officers. But we didn't get into the booth, which means we're probably going to have to get back into the cinema at some point soon. Something's going to happen outside in the in the alleyway. It's going to give us access, I would think. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.